Hello and welcome to Postcard and a pint of pop. Pint of pop? Yes, it is officially January now for us, even though it's week three of January for you. And we've decided to do dry January. Boo! No, no, it's good for us. It's a good reset. We is it? We failed last year because we got locked down after two days of January. So Yeah, we lasted two days. Yeah, we're going One for it day. this year. We're going for it this year. Anyway, that aside, um, in today's video, a bit of a mixed bag today, a bit of a weird one. We are going to go out to Manchester Airport to check out a place that will, hopefully, is going to record a new sound album. What it is, a few years back we went to Heathrow and you know I like a bit of recording. So we were stood there, side of the road, me with my little recorder like that, <laughs> recording the planes coming over. We had a pretty cool sound effects library out of it, so we thought we'd do it again, but in Manchester. So we've heard of this place called the Airport Hotel Duncan. Pub, I think it's called. Something like that. Something like that. And we're going to check it out to see if it's going to be suitable to make some recording. Do you imagine some recordings today? We might not, but we're going to check it out anyway. Then, hopefully, fingers crossed, not sure if it's open yet or not, we're going to go to an English castle. English castle, boo! Well, the English built all our castles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most of them. Okay, so we're going to go to Beeston Castle, give that a check out, and then, fingers crossed, finish off in a pretty little Cheshire village called Crystleton. For a pint of pop. For a, I was going to say for a pint then, but no, it's for pint a of pint of pop. So come with us as we enjoy a random day out. We've arrived at the airport hotel pub at the end of the runway. No, ooh, not gonna lie, I'm a bit upset that we're not actually getting on one of them uh, planes. Someone's taking off right now. Anyway, let's go check it out. Fingers crossed, Wills might be able to get some sounds today. Come on. The pub has a lovely outdoor garden to watch the planes from. Ooh, here comes one. Ryanair from Milan. I wish we were going to Milan. Yes, I'm one of those sad geeks with flight radar on my phone. This was incredibly useful when recording Fly Past, Wills' debut airplane sound effects album, available to buy in the links below. I could let him know the make and model of each plane as it arrived. Oh, here goes Aer Lingus to Dublin. I wish we were going to Dublin. As you can hear, sadly too many kids around today to make a clean recording. They're coming from Benny! Yes, the Ryanair from Alicante. They've all been on holiday. Lucky, lucky... I wish we were going to Alicante. Ooh, a big one. Virgin Atlantic's Manchester to New York. I wish we were going to New York. Ooh, another big one. Qatar in the Emirates. 
I wish we were going to. No, I'll stop now. Time to move on. also serves food. As long as you're after fried food, you're in. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite good enough for recording today. Last time we went, it was in Heathrow, and I thought oh, it was cool. I actually got a sound effects album out of it, and we're hoping to do the same today. But we thought we'd check it out, have a look. It was still pretty cool, though. It was still pretty good. So we'll come here again another day when there's less people, and it's a bit warmer. And uh, yeah, it was good. Well, that was really, really cool. We enjoyed ourselves there, watching a few planes. Now let's carry on with our day. Well, we've arrived at Beeston Castle in Cheshire. Now, we weren't sure this was going to be open, but it is. Happy days. Your what three words are chins, corkscrew, unicorn. Let's go see what it's all about. Turns out Beeston Castle is a popular choice on a gloomy January day. As we've come to expect now, it's custom to go through the obligatory gift shop to get in and out. Chilly mead? I'm not so sure. Every time we go to London, which is quite a lot recently, we see this castle from the main Chester to Crewe London uh, line. And we've always thought, that looks really cool. We should go there one day. Today's the day. Are the berries on the mistletoe then? They're white. Yes, there was a children's Christmas quiz. I didn't buy the accompanying booklet, but I was up for answering every question. Goose, chicken, partridge, pigeon. Well done, Rachel. We've climbed on up, we're now inside the walls. Let's start the history bit. Beeston Castle is a former royal castle in Beeston, in Cheshire, in England. It's perched up on a sandstone crag, which is 350 feet above the Cheshire Plains. Simply stunning. It wasn't meant to be eaten unless it were poor. I must be poor. And to this one, Rudolph. I've just learned from the last one, I'm obviously very poor because I eat the pastry on my mince pie. I've already gone and found a stone with an iron ring on it. That's famous five stuff. If I chisel that up, dungeons under there, dungeons. Sadly, I needed the booklet for that one. The castle was built in the 1220s by Ranulph de Blondville, the sixth Earl of Chester, on his return from the Crusades. And look! There goes the Chester to Crew train. In 1237, Henry III took ownership of the castle and it was kept in good repair until the 16th century when it was no longer considered to be of military use. Well, well, well. <laughs> this sounds funny. Hello. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? Yes! The castle was used again briefly in the English Civil War. The castle was partially demolished in 1646 in accordance with Cromwell's destruction order. He was a badden. If 
you've been crowned the Lord of Misrule, what would you do? I just want everyone to be nice and have a nice time. Boring. You're meant to cause chaos, not be nice. Yeah, but I do that every day, so it'll be a day off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's 12, isn't it? It's 12. You did a Yule before, didn't you? Oh, you're so rude. This was cool. This was a reconstruction of a Bronze Age roundhouse. I did feel sorry for this chap, though. He knew all his history and was super impressive. Sadly, he didn't know the answer to my question, which was, what type of wood are you burning? Because it smells lovely. He looks so dejected. Sorry. The house is made of wood posts, filled in with wattle and daub, a mixture of twigs, earth and clay. The roof is a thatched roof. And legend states that the royal treasures of Richard II are buried within the grounds of Beast Castle, but many searchers have failed to find them. Is this been gecked again? <laughs> Grounds, there are some caves. Sadly, you can't get in to explore. There are, however, some excellent hieroglyphics on the walls. You know, that early prehistoric man, Andy. All too soon, it was time to leave. Through the museum, of course. The likeness is uncanny. Beeston Castle was very pretty. We're now off to try and get some lunch in Christleton. For no other reason than apparently it's pretty. Well, we're not in Christleton, are we? It all went wrong again. Heavens opened, found a pub, couldn't even get in the car park. He found our way to the Greyhound in Sorgal. Got me pop, so he's still not drinking. Really good. What is the beginning of the video? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Order some fish and chips, not particularly healthy, but we're not going on a diet, we're just stopping alcohol. But, uh, cheers. Cheers. We're going back home now, we'll do a little sum up from at home. We're cold. Here we go, another day, another fireplace in the house of Rachel and Wills. Another cup of tea. Another cup of tea, it's mm. going well, it's going well. Boo. What did you think of today? Today, what did we do today? We oh, went we, to the airport. We went to watch planes, I enjoyed the planes. We only saw two or three, didn't we, come yeah. over? Three or four. Uh, we saw a couple take off, they were pretty cool, they were big. Um, yeah, it was good, but I don't think it was good as where we recorded for your first album. It wasn't as good as Heathrow. Too many children. Far too many kids. <laughs> where we recorded... And a big fence. Oh yeah, but where we recorded in Heathrow, we couldn't see into the airport, but we were like right underneath, I think it's called a glide scope, and the planes in Heathrow of course come every like 30 Ten seconds. seconds. And we got all sorts. We got propeller planes, we got the we got massive, the, big ones, the, the double three, deckers, the yeah, 380s. The double deckers, the 380s. 380s. Um, and they were so loud because honestly, it felt like you touched them, didn't it? We were like right underneath them. We were on a road outside the airport. It was kind of parallel to the, yeah. to the airport. There was wasn't a it? bit of traffic, but honestly, uh, the, it, well, I'll tell you what I do want to do. What's that? I want to go to Airplane Beach in St. Martin Ooh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I want to hang on the fence. And we saw one that's. Have you not uh, been there? I've been to St Martin, there was, I was so old, there wasn't an airport there yeah, last time I was that's there. That's how old she is. Yeah. <laughs> she looks Shut good up. for 72, doesn't she? Um, but I saw online this week an airport in Skiathos, which looks a bit mm. similar as well. So yeah, we will do airports around the world one day and record. Mm. Anyway, airport aside, castle. 
Castle was good too. It was what? It was about a tenner to get in. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a bit expensive. It was a bit expensive. It wasn't as good as Conway. But yeah, it was you still didn't even good. get. Yeah, I didn't get a guide, but then you didn't in Conway, but there weren't as many information points. There was a Christmas quiz. There was a Christmas quiz. I excelled at that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, caves? The caves were a little bit disappointing, if I I'm honest. I guess they can't have tourists just wandering underneath Cheshire willy nilly. No, I guess not. Uh, but mm, it was okay. It was good. Yeah. I was glad to see it because we see it all the time on our journeys down to London. So it was good to finally go and see it. That was nice. And then, oh, end of the day. End of the day, bit of a washout. Bit of a washout. We were going to go to... Crystalton. Ring of Bells, is it called? I think so, yeah. Ram Jample. <laughs> Pissing down with rain. Don't say that. Sorry. Get, get told get the by the YouTube get the police. Get beeper off on me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, couldn't even get in the car park. So, yeah, we came home for a cup of tea. So, uh, a cup of tea. We hope you've enjoyed it. No idea where we're going next week. I haven't got a clue. No idea. You're uh, working anyway, aren't you? Yeah, so, back to work now. It's really, really... So am I. It's so sad. But I hope you've enjoyed today. Been a bit random. Don't forget to do all those things that you're better at than me. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Push it bell please please and um yeah as we say with a cup of tea with our matching cups oh, well, not quite we? matching but yeah, yeah. um uh, cheers <laughs> to the good times and the cups of tea and the cups of tea cheers i started reading a book the other day about a castle that kept its drawbridge up i couldn't get into it Blah.